Hi, Terrell. Christine, Christine Ignacio, how you doing? Terrell, uh, Big Gold Belt Media here. How you doing today? Good, good, good. Hey, how, how are you? What's up, Big Gold Belt? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> It's a, it's a lovely morning. Hope you guys are coffeeed up. I got the questions ready for you. All right. We're ready. All right. So first first questions, get right in. Uh, for, for the both of you, bro five brothers. Uh, how was it, one, Drea, you know, being the mom to Christina, being a mom to uh, a family of six, and Ignacio having this, this big family of, of unpredictable brothers that you never know what they're going to do? Yeah, Terrell, I love how you posed that question because I actually thought about this recently again that, you know, Dre has been a mom since she was a kid, right? right? So, and so it is kind of like she's a mom to, to six people. <laughs> um, but I love that there are those moments where you see her lean on the brothers and you see where they kind of come in and take care of Drea. Um, and so that's a fun dynamic to see. Um, but yeah, it's 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 overwhelming sometimes. And um, other times it's like she wouldn't have it any other way, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, you know, my dad is one of four siblings. My mom is one of seven siblings. I have a lot of aunts and uncles and a lot of cousins. And when I spent, in, you know, growing up, like in the summers, I would spend a lot of time with them. Um, and so I think I'm a little bit used to that dynamic. I didn't, you know, in my actual house, it was just, you know, my mom and my dad and my brother and I and our dog. So it wasn't, it wasn't like the Gonzalez household exactly. But I, I think I know what it's like to be in the midst of a large uh, you know, sort of chaotic family. Um, but even if you don't have like, you know, this, you know, this massive and like really sort of like whatever bumbling, you know, cloud of bees, whatever, like looming over you. I, I think I, you know, I mean, I don't know, but your family can feel like the whole world, right? Like your, your house feels like the whole, the whole world. So <laughs> I don't even know how that the that the quantity of people like ends up making. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ignacio, uh, get, so you know, getting to talk to your uncles today, they pretty much the show is like them kind of competing to kind of imprint themselves on you. You know, you got the one. The one uncle in the army you got the one uncle who's a who's a bank manager. Uh, you know, everybody's trying to kind of imprint themselves in you. What what are what are the things that you think that you would y your character would take from each of them to you know his, his future? Yeah. Well, first of all, Uncle Ryan would be running on the street screaming <laughs> that you called him a bank manager. <laughs> and he's a bank teller, but he was recently promoted to account no, manager. And you get he was recently <laughs> promoted, but his own family won't give him that credit. Won't acknowledge you, that. A manager, so he got a so, certificate. Yeah, yeah, no, respect, respect. Um, what? Well, you know, I think like you know, because he has like so many options, Rafa, and like everyone's coming from all these different places. I think he seeks out like different uncles for different things, right? So, so you know, so we see him in the show, like when he needs clothes, he goes to Uncle Mike because you know Uncle Mike is like closer to his size. Um, you know, when he need, you know, he needs to when he needs advice uh, romantically, he might seek it out from someone else. When he needs, uh, yeah. So, so so each each one of the uncles has like something to offer. Um, terms of like actually sort of practical and helpful advice um you know i don't want to give like too much away but um yeah, no, that's hard that's hard <laughs> yeah it, there's, but for example there's like you know um like uncle jay is the only uncle that is married so you know it's a secret that like rafa has a crush over the course of the show so um 
just sensibly, where does it make most sense to, uh, or, you know, to, to seek that advice? Well, maybe, from, mm -hmm. maybe from the only guy in the family that actually has a success. Is in a relationship. <laughs> right. So. Right. Chris, Christina, uh, I, I just got a, a question to answer that was bothered me is like, how many people actually lived in the houses? Because like when the show comes on, people are just there. I'm like, okay, do these people have, uh, your brothers have homes or is it just you or your son? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Question. No, Great they question. have their own homes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's part of the funny and the chaos is, is that they're just, they just don't have boundaries because this family really is, all they have, even before Rafa came around, Dre and her brothers for a long time just had each other. And I think they just feel more comfortable being together. Like that home is the, my sister's house, my oldest sister's house in real yeah. life was like that for us. It was just the place we all came together and we all had our own homes. But if we ever wanted to be together, we were just always at her house. And um it's also the house that they all grew up in together, you know? Okay, I wasn't sure if I should say that part, so I didn't. I was like, I also think, <laughs> given the, but I didn't want to give away the, but yes. Yes, and well, so. Yeah, I don't know that that's their, yeah, but it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys threw that up because it, it was definitely, I guess a little bit more clarity to that. Um, so, you know, this is the question of the day. Uh, out of the eight episodes, uh, what would you say is your, your favorite so far this season? I'll say, I'll say generally, um, I'll say generally, I think some of my favorite stuff is toward the end of the season. Mm -hmm. So I think if people start watching, they should keep watching. But <laughs> A lot of payoff. I yeah, think, no, 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 but, 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 but actually, like actually, um, yeah, some of my favorite moments or favorite episodes in the show, I think, come late. That's not to say that, like, that's not to say that earlier on in the season there's not great stuff too. But I think, I, I think the show gets better as you keep watching. Mm, mm. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Terrell, yes. thank you. That means a lot. The the the, co the comedy was killer. Like I said, I mean, you it, you know, especially you, Christina, you you've been all over in the, in the acting world. So to come back and, and do the comedy is, is like I said, you, you have the, your timing is perfect for it. And you know, you, you, you and you and the entire uh, cast here, your, your chemistry just feels so natural. Like you guys walked in on set and just, it just got it. I'm not sure if that was the, the initial, this one when you came in, but yeah, it, the chemistry feels absolutely natural. Like you were yes, a real family. So. It was, yeah. it was. Yep. I'm glad that translated on screen. Cause that's how it felt. Um, just you know, off screen, it was just this immediate right. bonding. Yeah. It also helps that you guys are funny, so I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like everybody out. brought it out of each other. That was good. You know, we all bounced off of each other and and kind of lifted each other up in that way. Right. And now I know, I know we can't deep dip into that pool just yet, and I because you know, I'm excited for season two already. But is there any uh? insights of what we could expect man i just hope we get one you know like, <laughs> I, was, I you know <laughs> people ask that no and people like in life like what do you want to see happen in season two and it's like i don't i trust these writers like they're the best in the game yeah. just right. just give us a second season at all like i don't you know um so i don't know what's gonna happen but i certainly hope I certainly hope we just see more of like the dynamic of the family. Like I just, I hope we see more of the little things that have come out in season one of like dynamics and people's personal, like, you know, little idiosyncrasies and little yeah. like, you know, um, little side hustles and like things that came out in the first season. I just hope we see more of that unfold in the right. second season. But I honestly have no idea what the plan is for the second season. Like Ignacio said, I hope we just get one. And I, I mean, hope, just and I hope I'm Rafa, sorry, go. I hope Rafa gets what he wants. That's what I hope. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what We're that means, college. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I mean, like I said, I mean, I, I enjoyed it from from episode one till finish. I, I couldn't put it down. It, I laughed the entire way through. Um, mm -hmm. This show was completely unpredictable about what what episode was going to transition to the next. Uh, I, I I loved everything with Rafa. 
uh, Christina. I didn't see anything that was coming with Drez. You know, she she completely blindsided everybody with that reveal. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, yeah. I definitely yeah. see a, a season two coming, and I will be telling everybody that I know to be watching the show. It's it's absolutely hilarious oh. and it's amazing. Terrell, thank you so much, man. Oh, that's no, so no good problem. to hear. Thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate you doing this interview with me today, and I hope I see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you so Good much. Talking to you. Thank you. Shout out Big Old Belt. Absolutely. <laughs>